Welcome. So uh, welcome to the cafe. Uh, I think that you have water under your chair, but the, the real coffee's back there. It can be yeah. our little secret. Okay, wonderful. So welcome, welcome. I'd love to have each of you introduce yourselves and talk about what you're working on as it pertains to cloud native within your organization. Perfect. Sabine. Hi, it's so great to be here again. My name is Sabine and I'm a product manager at Mercedes-Benz Tech Innovation. So we are a subsidiary company of Mercedes-Benz and as tech innovators, we are a part of, you know, the future of mobility and everything that's transforming around automotive at the moment, especially for Mercedes-Benz. Yeah, hi everyone, and thank you so much for, for, the, for the invitation. My name is Kasper Nissen, I work as the lead platform architect at Lunar. Lunar is a modern bank uh, in the Nordics, and we really try to be the platform for our customers to engage with all their finances. Besides that, I'm also a CNCF ambassador, so a shout out to the ambassadors down there. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I really try to uh, build the community in the Nordics as well. So, uh, yeah, lovely. Well, first of all, thank you for having me here. Thank you, CNCF. You know, uh, it is my birthday. This uh, week I'm celebrating it. I can't imagine of a better gift than being here on this stage. My name is Edju Petan. I'm the head of DevOps at, of Allianz Direct. You probably all know Allianz, the best company, insurance company in the world. Uh, Allianz Direct is the digital entity responsible for delivering the same excellence and trust into the digital world. Hi, uh, uh, I'm Yuichi Nakamura uh, from Hitachi. Uh, I am uh, leading uh, OSS strategy and uh, contribution in Hitachi. Uh, Hitachi is uh, uh, providing uh, social innovation uh, product and service across the world and using cloud native technologies. And we are also a um, platinum member of the Linux Foundation. Uh, recently, uh, we joined uh, CNCF as a gold member. Uh, nice to meet you to the uh, cloud native community. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much. So are y'all ready to spill the tea? Let's go. <laughs> so Sabine, one question I have for you was, uh, what does it take to actually stay up to date? Does, how does the CNCF help in terms of staying up to date on everything going on within the community and, and how is that applicable to Mercedes-Benz? Yeah, you know, staying up to date for me also means that you have a shorter time to market. And what we have figured out is that the time from actually having an idea until putting it into production, until it actually delivers value for our users and customers, is shortened by, you know, embracing the cloud native ecosystem and being a part of it. Being a part of it is actually um, very important for us because we not only use cloud native technology, but we are also actively contributing back. This is very important to us. Um, you might have heard about our FOSS manifest already, and it states a, first, a FOSS first, FOSS preferred strategy, and that gives us the ability and the time to actually contribute and be a part. And we learn so much from that, because as you know, you have a feedback loop there. You get feedback from developers who might have a different skill level and uh, who are from different companies. And that actually helps to you know, broaden your horizon and you know, be a, an active part of the, the community. Um, community approach is something that I like a lot because it can break boundaries. And we have seen that it actually breaks the boundaries in such a big company as Mercedes-Benz with all the subsidiary companies, um, you know, collaborating and, and being a community together helps a lot, especially also if you have, you know, development and operations teams. Um, so yeah, that is, that is something that is very important for us. And um, it helps us to stay up to date also on a personal and a skill level. Lovely. It's wonderful to hear how you're able to leverage the community and you don't feel that need to kind of, you know, be on your own or be in isolation. It's true. You just aren't able to develop in a vacuum. So Absolutely. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Awesome. Casper, uh, I've got a question for you. Oh. <laughs> uh, in what ways has Cloud Native helped you better work with users and customers and get things done at Lunar? Yeah, so, so we, we adopted Kubernetes back in, in 2017 and before that we saw a lot of, you know, slowdown and deployments because of a lot of dependencies between teams and things were just getting slow and we we're not really delivering value to our customers. So things took too long. So, 
So we embarked on a journey to basically unlock Velocity by adopting uh, Kubernetes and adopting Cloud Native in general, and just making sure that our developers were um, able to deploy stuff independently from uh, each other and uh, take full uh, autonomy or be autonomous and, and take 360 ownership of their services and their domain. So that was really the goal. And we are now at a point where we have a platform that uh, helps our developers be secure, compliant, uh, provide sane defaults, and, and just make them focus on what is really important, which is for them to build features for our customers. So that is really where I think uh, Cloud Native and, and Kubernetes really comes in and that helps a lot for, for our customers because we can make sure that our developers are really focusing on providing value to the customers rather than configuring infrastructure or setting up a database or whatever it might be. So we are really paving the path for our developers to, to make them productive. And in the end, it's, we are here for our users, right, or customers. So, uh, so yeah. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, hopefully no caching issues with the bank. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> uh, Sergio, I'd love to ask you that same question. How, how has Cloud Native helped kind of shape Allianz and the way that you interact with your customer base? Yeah, well, to best answer this question, I, I will have to tell you a short story, very short, I promise. <laughs> <clears throat> Two years ago, when Allianz Direct embarked on the journey of becoming digital ambitable, we asked ourselves several questions. It was like, what are we? What do we want to become? Are we consumers? Or are we creators? The answer was simple. We want to create, we want to build a unique digital experience for our customers. But how? Huh? The key for us was to fully own our digital future. We call that digital sovereignty. And the key to achieve digital sovereignty is basically having two ingredients. Now, uh, first one would be focusing on people and organization. And on the people realm, Every developer, every engineer has on daily basis a choice to make. Do I consume or do I create? The answer to this question has a deep impact on one's career. On the organization realm, there are three implications to consider. First implication would be on security and operation. An organization secures and operates best a digital asset that it owns. Simple. The second implication is on innovation. The magic happens at the intersection between digital excellence and customer insight. The third implication has to do with talent, as always, and it's quite simple. Simple and creative organizations attract creative people. To summarize, Allianz Direct is on a journey of becoming digital unbeatable. The key to this is to achieve digital sovereignty, and the gateway to get to the digital sovereignty is by being part of a free, open source, cloud native community, CNCF. Thank you. Amazing. Amazing. I love getting to hear how people are able to jump in and get involved a little bit more quickly when it comes to open source in general. Uh, you don't have to start at zero. You can actually, you know, maybe go to 30 or 60. Exactly. So, really exciting. <laughs> Ichi, uh, as, a, as a new member, uh, my question for you is, uh, what kind of opportunities and challenges do you see as it pertains to working within the CNCF community? Yes, uh, I think authentication and authorization uh, will be uh, important uh, because critical system um, like banking and government system are shifting to cloud. And the um, standards um, for authentication and authorization protocols are very actively uh, developed in SDOs like OpenID Foundation and FIDO Alliance. Uh, however, uh, catching up such protocols um, is not so active in cloud native community. Um, last week, uh, Keycrock uh, joined CNCF uh, as an incubating project for that area, and, uh, and we want to um, collaborate with uh, Keycrock community uh, um, to catch up such protocols and uh, we'd like to uh, contribute to cloud native community. Uh, this afternoon, um, Keycrow community have a maintenance uh, track. Um, we would like to um, discuss about authentication and authorization uh, in uh, this Kubecon. Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, we're very excited to have you as a new member and really excited to see what comes of the community. Now, 
I know we could sit here all day and, and talk and kind of go through things, and Mercedes has actually been wonderful to uh, donate some cars here today. So there are a whole bunch of Mercedes-Benz cars placed around the venue. Uh, definitely recommend that you come and chat with us, uh, come and find us on that front, and we would love to chat with you further in person. So uh, with that, I'd like to thank all of you for coming out here today, for sharing all of your stories with us. And uh, with that, we'd love to hand it off. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.